Hi there, um, it's another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. Um, today we're actually going to show you this Fairline Targa 43. Um, and Fairline Targas, there's a range of them, but this is the smallest one that's on shaft drives. As you can see, it's got a blue gel coat, and we're going to show you all the features this boat has to offer today and all the little bits and pieces that and options this one has. Um, but um, the Fairline Targa 43 um, has always been a high quality boat. And this whole period of Fairline, um, they've built them really, really well. Um, so we're going to show you around the boat, show you the inside and the outside, a full walkthrough tour. Um, but, um, but for now, please subscribe to our channel. Come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk. And now we're just going to get followed around by the camera and get on with this brilliant walkthrough tour of Skyray, the beautiful 2003 Fairline Targa 43. Well, the first thing I want to show you is actually is in here. It's a really neat trick. It's got an electric tender garage. And I just want to sh open it up for you. There's a button just next to me here and it opens right up. And inside there is enough room for a Williams jet tender. And all you need to do is deflate the tubes for it to go in. And you can see they've actually just got it in because the steering wheel just fits in between the two storage compartments above. And the way it deploys, it deploys out on a winch and um, you just simply fold the roller down and then you can roll it straight out into the water, get the tubes on and away you go. The electric winch is controlled on a remote just here um, and then it can come out. Now the boat's advertised on parker-adams.co.uk um, the price it's at doesn't include the tender, so the tender can be included, um, but it has to be um, an additional cost. Um, and um, um, I'm just speaking to the owner about what the value of it is, we're just valuing it for him. But if you're interested in that, it fits perfectly, and, um, um, and then it could be a, a good addition. You can also see it's actually got built in a small trickle charger for it as well, so you can actually charge it up. The big problem with jet tenders on the back of boats is that quite often they're flat when you want to use them if you don't use them very often, but that one's actually got a small trickle charger as well. Um, but as you can see, access is really nice because it's got this cutout in the bathing platform. It actually gives a really low um, position in the water for deploying and bringing a boat in. Um, there's also a swim ladder as well. Um, just positioned here again in nice condition and good side access there's even a little step on the side here a little teak inlaid step and now this is all synthetic teak as you can see through but really nice quality one and really um, enhances the boat's feel um, so nice side access and rear access as well um, this would otherwise be for a passerelle but this doesn't have one but instead it's a really good storage area for things like paddles brushes boat hooks so it really does still become a very useful area um, fell on a very good at quality and you can kind of see that from the stainless steel fittings and um, let me drop that tender garage back down and once this comes back down you'll see there's actually a really nice bathing area on the back thank you so there's a really comfortable bathing area on the back um, I'm six foot tall and I can lie down flat so it has length as well as girth um, also there's a small seat here which I quite like it's quite neat quite like this it's just a nice little position to be um, and there's a step there that allows you access to the side decks and um, when this cover's not here so you can get starboard side access quite easily um, also under my feet is actually um, engine room access to the rear of the engines where the generator is and you simply just lift up that hatch and there's a step down you can get in there you can access different parts of the engine room battery chargers the generator um, exhaust systems um, the exhaust systems on this boat have been replaced and um, so have the inlet seacocks and skin fittings as well as the inlet um, water pipes so the boat has had a lot of love over the years and um, 
and there's a whole raft of things the current owner has done to this boat to actually mechanically make it really good quality and but when we first came on here we got a real feeling of that it's been looked after i mean from the condition of the table which is in really nice shape and it's a folding table and swivel so you can position it to wherever you wish and then you can get it out the way to the condition of the upholstery now now we're not sure if this isn't original but it's in such nice quality it's exactly the same as the original upholstery will be so if it has been replaced it's been done very very well and um, very much so like the original would be but i've got a feeling it might be original it's just been very very well kept um, it just has a really nice clean feel to it and there's plenty of seating around here as you can see um, but then there's also another engine access under the floor as well um, this one it actually gets you to the front of the engines and you simply you don't have to remove the table you can simply spin it round and then lift and then carefully do that and if you look down inside um, we've got two TAMD 75 engines. Now these are 480 horsepower each, and these are the bigger engine option for the Targa 43. Um, so what this gives you is not only a high top speed, it also gives you a really good economical cruising speed. And with that as well, you also get a really good pickup onto the plane so in fact because it's got the bigger engines they can actually be more efficient due to the fact you can cruise at a higher speed um, but really you're not really using the power in the engines um, now i believe this boat would probably reach about 35 knots if not a little bit more so your cruising speed is anything from 25 to 30 knots cruising at 30 knots on a boat like this I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. You can get around everywhere. Um, but the engines, again, have been really well looked after. And they look really clean. Um, there's a raft of things this boat has had done, including recent servicing. Um, but also there's a whole list of everything. It's too much, too much to, to talk about now. But again, we'll list it on the website, we'll list it on the advert for this boat. And you can go through and see all the work that's been done since 2000. 17 we've got a list of everything that's been done up until this year and every year there's a list of just upgrades things that a 20 year old boat would suffer from just things like electrical switches things that just over the years become problems and it's all been replaced um, so it's been a real labor of love for the current owner um, what i like is the canopy so the canopy has got perspex screens all the way around and this actually comes all the way down to the back so you can sit on the bathing platform and still look out to sea. Um, and also we've got this huge roof for here as well. And um, you can think, well, that looks a bit cumbersome, but we haven't seen this before, but it's got this fantastic rail system. So in fact, when you take the side cover and the front covers off, if you want to bring that back, you simply um, slide the rail system back to its new positions. So bring that one back, bring this one up, and that one back to here and then the three rails will join each other and you just fold it and pram it back onto there it's quite a nice system um, and also um, if you do have the covers off and um, and you want to tighten there's actually um, a tightener here so you can put tension on the cover to keep it nice and firm so you can actually tighten the cover up or loosen it off and it's a really nice, good quality stainless steel fittings. Um, I really like this system. Um, but also in the cockpit area, um, there is a top loading fridge, which has got quite a few bits and pieces in there. Very nice. Um, there's a wet bar, which does have a mixer tap as well. So it is hot and cold. Um, we've got a nice small additional forward facing seat but also we have the grill and it's electric grill um, and the generator will power it so when you are at anchor the generator will actually power this so when you're at anchor you can use a wet bar the fridge everything can be powered off the generator on this boat so a really good versatile boat um, when we come around to the helm there's actually quite an unusual but very comfortable looking seating arrangement. So we've got a slightly lower seat here, but as you can see, this is actually on suspension. So it's cushioned. So when you're going along, I mean, the driver's all right, I don't know about the rest of the people, but if you get in a rough seat, it's actually it's really nice. I've not seen this on a fair line before. It must be an option 
um, when it was new, but I've not seen it on one of these before. I really like it, and it does, I think, yeah, it does have a usual bolster, and you can slide it forward and backwards as well. Um, but I just really like the, the shape to it, and even that it's got the rail, I just, that's quite smart. I'm often expecting armrests to come down, but I don't think it does. Um, it's got a, the modern Fairline steering wheel. So this is what they put on the newest generation um, of Fairline. And, um, and it just gives it a, 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 a nice updated feel. And the other thing you get with these engines, instead of the old mechanical controls, you get EDC controls. So these are finger movement, very light, very easy, electronic controls. And it just makes the boat, again, between electronic controls and the steering wheel, just feels um, a lot younger than its years. Um, we also have a bow thruster. Um, there is no stern thruster on this boat. But really, with the shaft drive on these Fairline hulls, you don't really need them. Um, after owning a, a Fairline myself on shaft drives, I've never felt the need for a stern thruster because they kick in so well just on the engines in reverse. They really, really do. And believe me, I'm, I'm not lying. I've, I've never needed a, a stern thruster on mine. Um, there's a bit of original equipment, but still works very well. We've got a Raymarine chart plotter. Um, we've also got an autopilot system and then obviously your depth and speed as well. All these, um, the owner uh, assures me, um, all works very well. And um, um, let's clear that out. Um, but it's obviously, it's somewhere you could update, but really, if it's working, why would you need to? Um, there's a Fusion Stereo up here. And this is actually in addition to the main Fusion Stereo down below. So it's a remote for it. Um, but it's really nice that you can control it from up here. You can also download the app, so you can actually control the Fusion system anywhere on the boat off your phone as well. And simple things have been upgraded as well, like the switches. Normally by now, these have all faded, so you can't even tell what anything does. But the, all these rocker switches have been replaced, um, as well as the trim tab controls as well. Um, they've been replaced as well. So all in all, it's, um, it's a nice setup. Um, there's, um, and you've still got the original chart as well with storage underneath, as well as there's spotlight control as well. But all in all, it's just uh, very kind of modern touches with a bit of the old as well. Um, on this side, there's just a bit, a bit of storage, um, so, but I like the way that these are still in nice condition. Um, so they're not cracked or damaged, they're all just fresh. And the whole thing just feels quite fresh still. It feels nice and clean, again, very well looked after. Um, but should we pop downstairs? Okay, so let's pop downstairs. Um, as we go down, we've got these lovely um, steps, which are really nice condition. Again, by now, they're normally chipped and worn out and damaged, but they've be obviously been treated fairly recently because they're in lovely condition. And down into the very nice, bright saloon area, Again, the upholstery is in lovely condition. The carpets have been replaced in recent years. And I love these tables. These cherry gloss tables are lovely. Really nice condition. Again, normally the, the um, lacquer may have lifted or it's been damaged, but it's in really nice shape. And then we go through to the lovely blinds. There's actually lighting underneath these blinds as well. Um, so there's more mood lighting and that's on both sides at the galley as well as well as lighting above and lots of storage with cupboards. Your actual main dis um, distribution is here and when we look at the main distribution um, we can also see the extra fusion head unit. Um, it's also generator control from here as well and um, Eberspatcher diesel heating. So this doesn't have air conditioning um, but it has diesel heating instead, which is more, much more suited to this country. Um, so I actually prefer that than a reverse cycle air conditioning. For the week or so you want air con on your boat, the diesel heating is much more efficient and much better. Um, and there's, certain, there's always somewhere to store things. So there's a little cubby hole there. So he's got his life jackets in there. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of, I wouldn't say there's a bit of storage in here under there, but it's also got access to the bilges and the um, seacocks for the toilets. Um, but one thing I've noticed about the bilges in this boat, they're all bone dry. The engine ones, everywhere I've looked, they're all bone dry and just, again, nice and clean. There's no mold anywhere. It just feels lovely and fresh. Um, so again, it's a sign it's been very well looked after. Um, the boat, incidentally, if you're thinking, if you look at the tank there, 
Um, this doesn't have a holding tank. So this boat doesn't have a holding tank, but it has vacuum flush toilets. So these operate by creating a vacuum between the tank and the toilet. Um, and then when you then push the um, lever on the toilet to flush, it sucks it into here and then pumps it out to sea. So these are sea toilets. Um, so there is no holding tank. Um, as we move round into the galley, again, it's, it moves from carpeted area to a lovely wooden floor. Again, there's lots of storage cupboards all around. There's twin sinks and a hob. Are we a gas hob? So we're a twin gas hob under here. And again, lots of storage. And again, these lovely blinds with uh, mood lighting underneath. Um, but again, all the all the varnished woodwork is all in really nice condition. There's also a Samsung TV up here, fitted. So again, a modern addition. Um, and there's a fridge also down below as well in there with a freezer compartment. Again, it looks in nice condition and well kept. Um, but again, it just all feels very, very nice. Um, in here, are sliding doors and it exposes a microwave as well again with storage um, for cutlery and you can see how beautiful that's been inlaid for all the cutlery <laughs> always like things like this it sort of starts to show a bit of the a bit of the quality and there's a, a pan drawer down there as well and again, just a lovely feature. And that's what's nice because the galley is part of the saloon, it's really nice to be able to hide these things away so they're not on show. So when you are entertaining down here, you don't have to have it all on show. And it just gives a, just a very nice feel. Um, and then we can go through into the day heads. The day heads does have a, um, a shower with a curtain all around. Um, and again, it uses the vacuum flush system. So it's simply, there's no electric pumps or anything like that. Um, so a lot of um, electric toilets are quite noisy. This one, that's it, that's it flushed. So a simple lever operation and that's it. Very, very, very easy. Um, there is storage in there also. But what I want to do is get you through to the main cabin. Now what I like about Fairline when they fit out their cabins is um, the finish for everything. They like to cover everything in materials and I really like that. And even the style for the ceiling, you've even got the shaped headlining. And another thing to mention is all the headlinings are in good condition as well. These have all been done at some stage and none of them are sagging. They're all in nice shape. The wall lining, because this is material as well, um, with the cherry inlaid wood, it's all just um, really, really standout quality. Um, there's storage under the bed as opposed to two drawers. And in every room, there is actually an outlet for um, the Eberspacher heating as well. Um, and again, you then go into your main ensuite cabin and this now, instead of a curtain, it has a proper shower cubicle, um, which encloses entirely. So, it, so you don't have to get anything wet. Again, you've got the toilet flush system. And I just like the way, instead of having a, just a normal toilet lid, it actually has this lovely fitted toilet lid, which exposes. So I just really like um, that feature. And again, these blinds are very nice as well. And again, storage. Um, so a very very nice on the suite it just seems like good quality it's just it just oozes quality found I, I do love them um, and then of course that's not it we can then go through and there's a separate door which goes through into let you go through into the aft cabin and there's a settee on the right hand side as you can see but also twin beds in here Another television, small one in here. And we've also got a wardrobe. Um, there's two shelves up there and then a hanging wardrobe underneath. More storage and again, nice cabinetry just there. Um, so all in all, a very, very good quality boat. Really nice feel to it. 
Um, I think I'll just pop up onto the sides and just show you the front deck. And then um, I think there's not much more to show. Um, so we'll head up the front and um, I'll show you that in a second. All right, follow me. If you want to follow me out, you can get a good idea of space. I'm six foot tall. There's loads of headroom down here as well. Up the steps. Back through the cockpit. And then with just this side off, I can have access around the side. It's a nice handhold as we go through. And then your final bit of lounging. You've got a very large lounging area up on the front. Cup holders doesn't cover the hatch. So a lot of loungers will cover your hatch. So you lose that light. You don't lose it on this boat, which is really nice. Um, second hatch there as well. And then through to then the anchor controls. The anchor you can control at the helm, but also you've got foot controls for it as well, uh, just here. So you simply flick those up and then you've got up and down for the anchor. Which works fine. And then you've got your anchor chain in there as well. Um, light fender holders, always useful to stowing the fenders away so you don't have to find somewhere to put them all. Um, but all in all, this boat is actually in lovely shape, lovely condition. So I think, unless you can think of anything else we haven't talked about, um, then I think we're done for this boat. Um, the 2003 Fairline Targa 43, in great shape for its age. So please come and see it at parker-adams.co.uk to see how much this boat is on the market for. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on um, Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you again soon on the next one. Thank you.